Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Well, it is Holy Week, and that's got me really thinking about the grace and the mercy, all that Christ brought mankind and bought for mankind by the shedding of his blood on the cross. Multiple times in my life, and probably yours, people have asked exactly what is the big deal with Jesus? Why is it churches are so fixated upon him? He was a great man, and he taught all these amazing things. And then he died for basically no reason as far as history can tell us. Yet a lot of men are great. Why celebrate Christ? And so today I have to chat a little bit about Titus chapter 2. We're reading four full verses starting at verse 11. Read all the way down to 15 and we'll chat about it. It says this, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires, and live sensibly, righteously, and godly in this present age looking for the blessed hope and appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior Christ Jesus, who gave himself for us to redeem us from every lawless deed and to purify for himself a people of his own possession, zealous for good deeds. These things speak and exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one disregard you. There's a couple of things in here that I have to point out. One is when God appeared through the man, Jesus Christ, all man, all God, of course. He brought salvation to all men, meaning his cup overflows. There is enough for you and there is enough for me. It doesn't run out at any point. On top of that, he brought us instructions about how to live godly life, giving up all worldly desires, living in this present age. Not just rules for the past, but for our present age age if you personally believe that the things in the bible are for things are for a time long gone i implore you to give that another chance read it again look at it with modern eyes and let the holy spirit guide you into his truth so you can walk more godly on top of that he has redeemed us from every lawless deed this idea of redemption is a huge one come easter time which is where we are it's just like taking a coupon into the store you redeem it for 50 cents off hot dogs or whatever it is that you're buying you didn't actually earn that extra 50 cents you showed up and said here is the company here is the promotion that will pay that 50 cents for me in the same way that is what christ has done for you and i on the cross paid that price for our redemption and the last point i want to make here is if you are a believer and it's Easter time and you're celebrating with your friends and your family all that Christ has done, that verse 15 always rings true. These things speak and exhort, reprove with authority, let no one disregard you. It doesn't matter what the present age says, God is absolutely real. Christ was the Son sent from the Father to redeem us of our sins and our trespasses to make our way straight to the Father. Don't let anyone look down on you because of your belief. I would love to hear what your Easter season is shaping up to be and what it looks like. You can leave a comment down below if you have a concern about anything that I've said or something you would just like prayer for. If you put that in there, I would be thrilled to pray for you and engage in your life in that way. Well, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. God bless. I'll see you next week.